Welcome back, Dallas. You are listening to Tuttle Talk here on the Real Estate Radio Network. Okay, we've gone over financial fitness. We've gone over physical fitness today. We've gone over what are the three key skills you need to learn to be successful in any business venture you go after this year. And I want you to go after something great. And now we're going to get to uh, something very excited and a real estate focused. We're talking with Mark Bloom of Net Worth Realty. I know that a lot of you have dabbled with the idea of getting into real estate investing, and you've read a Robert Kiyosaki book, or you've gone to uh, an investment meeting, investment club meeting, but you still haven't gotten uh, out of the gates because there are just so many unknowns out there that it concerns you. Well, you should not be concerned anymore because we have the expert with us today to hold your hand here in a few for a few minutes and to set you up to get a fantastic education and get off the ground this year in buying investment property. And if you've bought a lot before, because I know a lot of our listeners own investment property, this is going to be a way for you to ramp up the amount that you're able to buy because it's turnkey. Mark Bloom, welcome to the show. Thank you for having me. Hey, you're actually on this network uh, on another radio show um, on Mondays too. Here on it's on 660. Or are you on? Uh... No, we're 660. Yeah, yeah, too. So yeah. Mark is all over the place. Been on a little TV. It's good stuff. Yeah, and you got me excited with that that intro, man. <laughs> I mean, it's the truth, is it not? It's a perfect time to be investing in real estate. It really is. This is still such a great time, and as the regulations tend to tighten, maybe that changes. So. Even more reason for you to get in now. So, Mark, for what does Net Worth Realty do? What's your business model? So, our business model, in a, in a word, is access. And that kind of spans the whole, um, I guess, for lack of a better term, the whole model of investing in real estate. But we provide private access to inventory for investors. So, beyond the educational, informational, getting over the fear factor in the very beginning, like you said, whether it's a Robert Kiyosaki book or a local class, you go to hear somebody, you got to start somewhere. And those are all great places to start. Once you get that itch and you get enough information that you're either dangerous or you're willing to move forward in some way, shape or form, you have to then have access to inventory. And right now, particularly access to inventory is a little more difficult than maybe it has been in the past. Right. Um, and so we provide that for our investors, off-market deals, uh, anywhere from, you know, say 20 to 30 plus a month uh, in the DFW Metroplex. And we have other offices in other cities, but that's in the Metroplex that we provide to our investors. Um, and it's kind of a first come first serve basis. You're not going to get into bidding wars. There's no, you know, oh, well, this guy offered this much, that guy offered this much. It's here's what the property costs. Here's bids that we've gotten from outside uh, third party contractors that say this house can be rehabbed. This is the scope of work. Here's the cost. Let's double check that, triple check that. Let's walk through it three or four times, make sure everybody's on the same page. We can get them financing, interim investor financing to get the product from what we call a deferred maintenance condition or, or the, the unwanted physical condition where a FHA lender will not lend on it right. into the condition where that lender will lend on it. So then they can either sell it to someone with an FHA loan or ideally go refinance with an FHA loan as a rental. So let me ask you some questions. That as Please, because I know that's a lot of information. That's right. So we're going to kind of take that step by step, and yeah. I'm going to dive deep as uh, from the perspective of an investor. Sure. So let's just ask you like that. So my first question would be, so wait, where do you get this inventory? Sure. A great question. And so everybody, oh, do you have a brother that works for Fannie Mae <laughs> and he just gives you everything? No, it's not like that. We actually have a full stable of uh, agents in all of our locations. So in DFW, we have two offices, one in Fort Worth proper for Tarrant, one in, in Dallas, uh, Addison, actually. Between those two offices, we probably have 20 to 30 agents. Those agents specifically go out and look for properties for our investors. We have relationships that we've built. I've been doing this personally for 15 years. Gotcha. So we, we, we're not new to the investment industry, and this is kind of a newer industry. Um, we use those existing channels. We use the fact that we have eight offices throughout the country, all of which buy from, you know, whether they be institutions or individual sellers, hedge funds, some of the similar groups. We use that leverage to get better pricing. Uh, and we use our reputation as someone who buys a lot of property and closes quickly and, and, and doesn't fall through as a buyer to leverage better pricing. And we pass that better pricing on to our investors in the individual. So you're listening to Tuttle Talk here on the Real Estate Radio Network, speaking with Mark Bloom, uh, the real estate, you're the broker and the owner of Net Worth Realty. Correct. And you have all your licenses, you have a mortgage license, so everyone knows, hey, look, you guys are legit, yep. you're doing it the right way. Correct. So, so 
when you so for example, you go buy a house at maybe a market price of a hundred thousand dollars. Okay. What does the your investor get that for? Great question. So right now in the Metroplex, you're looking at what I would call I'll be very liberal and say seventy to eighty percent minus repairs. Okay. What that means in layman's terms, you have a house that's worth $100,000. Depending on the neighborhood and whether you're going to fix that house up for rental, because that's going to be less expensive than fixing it up for sale, because right. you just don't have to fix up to the same level. And we're going to get into that in a minute, because that's such a big it's point. It's a great point. You're going to be into that house that will appraise and sell for $100,000 for somewhere between seventy dollars and $80,000. Okay, so what that means is you're probably going to purchase that house for fifty to sixty, and you're probably going to put twenty to twenty five thousand dollars into work, depending on where you bought it. Okay, first of all, wow, that sounds great. I'm an investor. I'm like, I'm in, but then I'm nervous. Okay, well, great. I buy it for fifty. How do I get the financing on that? Then wh- who That's does good. the who does the contracts? How do I fix it up? How do I know what to do right? Sure, and we want a nervous investor. Uh, it's good to learn. <laughs> Because real estate investing, single-family, multifamily real estate investment is such a new field, it is very key for your listeners, for anyone looking at investing, to double and triple check. And there are very easy ways to do that. I know sometimes people have trouble accessing information. Look at your local investor groups. It's very easy to go to a local investor group and talk to 10 people, some of which will have no idea what they're talking about, (laughs) some of which you'll know right off the bat know exactly what they're talking about. And make sure that you're dealing with people that are reputable because it is a small industry. So what that means, what are you buying at, how are you financing is, that property you're going to buy from me directly for, let's say, for sake of argument, $55,000. Yes, examples are good. So you're going to, worst case scenario, put $25,000 worth of work into that property. So you're collectively into that property, purchase and rehab for $80,000. Great. Okay. Let's just say absolute worst case scenario, you have another five grand in closing costs. So you're in it for 85. Okay. A lender, hard money lender is going to give you 70% of the future value, hundred thousand dollars. So they're going to give you 70 grand. Well, you need 85 to do everything. So you bring $15,000 to the table. So for $15,000, you'll get the money to purchase the property, repair the property and close the property. Now, they're not going to give you the money to repair at the table. It's kind of like a construction loan. You draw off of it. You go and spend five grand on the roof, and then they give you five grand back for doing the work properly. But you're able to continually roll that money. That is so simple and well thought out that I think that it can help you hopefully uh, quell some of the concerns. And here's the good thing, too. These guys don't just let you go there and say, okay, that's all we're doing. No, they're going to help you with the hard money. They're going to help you if you need hand-holding on making sure you've got the good contractors to help do the work. They're going to help you with that. That's a key point, contractors. It's huge because you can really – that it can mess up your whole deal. That So, listen, there's a couple types of risk in any deal, right? You have market risk and you have deal risk. Those are the only two types of risks that are there. You have no control whatsoever over market risk. Don't care what anybody thinks. You cannot control that. Part of the reason we're so blessed with our market is it's very stable. So your market risk is minimal in the Dallas-Fort Worth area. Okay. Deal risk. Our job, net worth's job, is to identify and reduce as much risk as possible. So because we have a stable market, we can very accurately say, okay, as long as you fix this house in the next 90 to 100 days, this house is worth this much on the market. So you know almost definitively what that house is worth within a couple of thousand dollars. You have your closing costs, et cetera. Okay? You know what you're buying it for. You know what your financing costs. The real risk for an investor is making sure that they don't get taken advantage of or that they don't lose sight of the end goal during the rehab process. And that piece, keeping your eye on the prize through that is it's tough. It's tough. And so, and speaking, and, and to speak to the point of uh, buying and fixing up a house for sale versus rent, this means real simple, I got to wrap this up, is you don't have to put all the top granite countertops and new 12 inch travertine tile. You don't have to do that for rental. You you don't have to put the nicest new Whirlpool washer and dryer in there. Clean. Clean, simple, rentable. Mm -hmm. That's what you got to do. You don't need the nicest house on the block. You need a good house in a good neighborhood. Correct. And that that, that you can create margin on. So here's the deal. If you want to hear more about this type of discussion and you want... um, 
to have Mark come back and you want to hear more from Mark, here's what I want you to do. I want you to text the word INVEST to 469-319-0660. Text the word INVEST to 469-319-0660. We're going to get you his uh we're going to get you connected with um, some of his best articles on investing, and we're going to get you connected with Mark, and I'd love to see about having you back on the show. Happy to. Good. This is good stuff, guys. Get out of the blocks this year. I really want you to do that, and I hope you can do that. Call me if you need help. The same number, 469-319-0660. I will connect you with the professional that will align you to get and be successful this year. Mark, thanks for coming on the show. Thank you guys for having me. You bet. Brian, buddy? Yes? I've gi- I've given you like one minute. There's no way. There's no way. I I have audio clips. I have great information. I, I've told you about the story. The story will make you cry. Can you tell me the story without giving away the tech thing, and then we can do that for tease them for next week? Yes. It, it is a <laughs> touching story of a, a, a young college kid who decided to help a homeless man and teach him a valuable skill for his life. Oh, man. I saw This is actually a really good story. Yes, it, it is. So you have to tune in next week. <laughs> exactly. Right. Thank you, Mark. Thank you. <laughs> That's ridiculous. This is totally... I hope if you watch Jimmy Kimmel, you know that Brian Moore is the Matt Damon of this show. I apologize to you, Matt Damon. You can't be on the show today. Well, I hope you've enjoyed this show here on Tuttle Talk. Thank you so much for listening. That is it for this hour. Remember, you can always reach out to me on the off-air hotline, 469-319-0660. You can check me out on Facebook and get in the conversation uh, by just checking out Tuttle Talk. And, of course, you can email me at answers at andytuttle.com and get all of these segments, all these shows, all this information and education Separate it out for you, and we're continuing to make that library better every day at andytuttle.com. Remember to get your boots on, support our military at bootcampaign.com. Tune in next week. We're going to have more great success stories, motivational encouragement for you, and finance and real estate advice that will change your year. I'd like to thank my special guest, Mark Bloom. I'd like to thank, uh, of course, Donia Story, Coach Jimmy. Uh, Dan Bradford, our production director, and the entire family here at KSKY. Obviously, all my expert contributors and the always fabulous Mr. Brian Moore. Uh, Thank you so much for listening to Tuttle Talk, where we're making financial intelligence a priority in the community. Have a great weekend. You've been listening to Tuttle Talk on 660 AM. You can reach Andy at 469-319-0660. That's 469-319-0660. Or email him at Andy. Answers at andytuttle.com. Don't forget to become a fan of his show by going to facebook.com forward slash Tuttle Talk. You can also catch previous shows by going to andytuttle.com.